When you walk up to TCF Bank Stadium, keep in mind, you're essentially walking on water. So what we're doing is we're taking all the water coming off the building, we're routing it into the green spaces. Now typically this would go into a storm sewer infrastructure. Instead, all the water on the south side of TCF Bank Stadium will go under this grass plaza where it will be filtered, cleaned, and eventually sent back to the Mississippi River in almost the same condition it was in when it fell from the sky. This entire side of the stadium down into the grandstands drains through a drainage system within the stadium. Jason Lamers and Mark Apfelbacher worked for the environmental solutions company that is responsible for a portion of the water management system at the TCF Bank Stadium site. Using state-of-the-art technology that includes mesh woven into the real grass, their crew has built a water management area that is both attractive and hardworking. This area is also capable of supporting media trucks. These trucks can pull right off of university here onto this area. Whether it's turf grass or football, Lamers knows a thing or two about doing things tough. A former fullback for the Gopher teams that played indoors, Lamers says he can't wait to see football return to the outdoors in a stadium he helped build. To come back and actually work on it and then to get to, to, to go out on the stadium uh, when we open it up here on September 12th, it's, uh, it's a pretty good opportunity. Apfelbacher, also a graduate of the University of Minnesota's College of Design, said helping improve the environment for his alma mater is a dream come true. It's nice to be, play a role in, in designing this campus and greening it in terms of having sustainable pieces inside, of, inside the campus. The project Apfelbacher and Lamers helped build covers four acres. A pretty large area, but it's only one piece of a massive water rerouting and filtering process. It's a comprehensive stormwater management system that covers 75 acres of campus, an area we call the East Gateway District. Stadium project manager Brian Swanson says the stormwater management system covers the stadium, the parking lots, and a number of buildings surrounding the site. The water is routed through these ditches, also known as bioswales. We have a variety of other techniques around the stadium site including pervious pavement, uh, rate control ponds, sand filters. Once it leaves the stadium area, the rain is on its way to the Mississippi as if it never came in contact with anything made by humans. Water, as it leaves the stadium and the 75 acres around the stadium, behaves as it would have uh, before any people showed up in the region. A fact that makes for a couple of proud U of M alums. It's great to participate at the University of Minnesota and give back. For the University of Minnesota, I'm Justin Ware.